Okay, it's so once again Drake testing out a 4K GoPro that I'd, and actually, depending if my other video we covered, which probably didn't because I think GoPros, the card I use, don't have enough camera is not fast enough to record in 4K for long periods of time. So, to make this very quick, I've inflated one of those um, Hermeshine balloons and I just so in case you didn't see this or the other video is broken um, seamless this is the nine inch model and it feels like the same type of stuff you get at the uh, at Walmart or any of the sort of those, those balls that you buy for about a few bucks the valve they actually want you to use is actually one of those uh, needles that you use for a, a uh, soccer ball and uh, it reason being is that the cut part in the bottom is actually a socket, which I did not know that. The lady called me on the phone from the online shop and said, uh, asked me what I was using it for, and I said, I want to get a sample to see what it looks like. I do like the color purple, though. It's awesome. Deflating is easy. You just pull it out. It doesn't seem like it's a high-pressure thing, but... Um, so here's the cap. They actually send you a kit with a needle and a bunch of other stuff for I think about 20 bucks so it's a little bit more expensive to have a cap that goes on. I also did order their older permanent balloons that you probably have seen the car dealership buy. I inflated this one. See it has this thing in the back to put it onto a holder which she said I didn't need a holder. Well, not that I didn't need it, that's that I was ordering a sample. She said it's kind of somewhat seamless it's actually made of vinyl, uh, standard vinyl, so I could order a few of these. They're actually on sale right now, so they're kind of cool, actually. They look like they're actually kind of strong, too. The vinyl's pretty thick. Not super thick, but kind of strange that it's actually not exactly centered, but however they welded it together, it's um, not lapped seams, which is kind of cool. The third one I got... I ordered from them as a sample is got this weird valve and I think it's the same as the last valve according to what I read it's got a thread to screw it into a base so I'm going to attempt to inflate this in a bit if I could figure out how to get the needle or whatever to fit down that hole in there which is probably one of these standard needles I could be wrong but worth a try there we go and after 30 minutes of researching, it turns out the Dura balloons are the same type of stuff that if I remember those old toys called Gertie Balls, which are the same material. It's a PVC polymer with lots of softener. You can tell because it's the same stuff that you see in those bouncy vinyl balls you see in the summertime at Walmart that doesn't have a seam. And they come in different colors, some translucent and even some with little prickly thingies on the side. So it took me a while to figure out after spinning this around and looking online, they actually had another kit where this piece is in here and you actually stick that needle that I had from the, the needle that they sent me to stick into the rubber valve. But that's for the bouquet version that I saw. So I was wanting to figure out with this one how this one feels. And apparently the bottom part is actually a screw for a stand that I didn't order. So. I might actually consider getting another one of these. Um, there's actually a really cool YouTube video, which I'll probably also link, that I just ran into on the uh, the uh, Balloon on a Stick YouTube channel that actually shows a car running over one of these, so they must be pretty strong. But it turns out that the valve is really a plug, and it does take a standard valve, which is cool because then I can just fill it up with a regular pump. And uh, yes. So this will take a few minutes. I might pause or stop the video while I can fill this guy up. But it feels just a little play ball, toy ball. Let's see if it's actually the balloon shape. They show a picture of it being round.
There we go. We actually have it, but it's not inflated all the way. I think we see these things go much bigger, so. At least a little bigger. I don't know actually how big do they go, except 30 inches. But there you have it, the hollow molded plug that eluded me for about 20 minutes. And I'm still kind of curious to how come this is actually uneven. But that may have been my fault. Because I was fiddling with that thing on the bottom and spinning it around a few times. I don't think, I think these are 30 inches. I'm going to pause and see what it says on the instruction, what size I got. Because it didn't really say. 